Hi guys, I hope you guys are doing really really well. First of all, let me just address the lighting setup. Usually I record my videos in the morning. I had stuff to do this morning because of which this video got pushed. I don't have a proper lighting setup, hence I'm gonna look a bit washed out. I would encourage you guys to just bear with that because um, I really did want to make this video and I wanted to upload it um, as soon as possible. I've been, as I'm sure all of us have been, really disturbed by the murder of George Floyd. It's a very disturbing event and I know that a lot of us have been impacted by it. But in particular, I saw something um, pertaining to the South Asian community and I just want to make a comment on that or just discuss it a little bit. I've been reading a lot of South Asian influencers saying that they stand in solidarity with the black American community and just the black community in general. And I'm absolutely in favor of that, of course, beyond politics within North America and racial politics within North America. It's about time that we start accepting what is happening to a community, not just in North America, but across the world. I mean, consider this, we're in the middle of a pandemic, but this for some reason continues to persist. It's just a really harrowing experience. And I know that a lot of us have been impacted, but with respect to the South Asian community in particular, we also need to address South Asia's own history with racism. I'm from Pakistan, I grew up in Pakistan and I lived there until I was 19. A lot of people in Pakistan talk about racism as if it is a topic that does not concern us, particularly anti-black racism. They talk about conversations about the black identity and how black people are treated as if Pakistan does not have a quite prominent black community which is also mistreated in Pakistan. Locally, they are um, referred to by various names. They're called Shidis in, in the part of Pakistan that I come from, which is Sindh. I know that most of us acknowledge that the Shidi community is present, that Pakistan has a black community. I don't know the extent to which you'll agree with this, but I'm just gonna say it. We have mistreated them, not just in terms of active discrimination, but also in terms of erasure, in terms of not telling their stories, in terms of not accurately representing the kind of role that they've had in shaping our history. Having grown up in Pakistan, I've realized that everything is impacted by colonialism at a very visceral level. We are not concerned about what's happening to the Shidi community, about the fact that many of them are facing poverty, about the fact that they are not represented in our media. It is so very rare to even experience black narratives that pertain to Pakistan and actually go beyond just colorism. I'm not saying that colorism isn't a huge issue in Pakistan, it absolutely is. But believing that racism in Pakistan is limited to just complexion is a very disingenuous representation of race in Pakistan. Believing that what happens to the black community, global black community, does not impact the black community within Pakistan is a very disingenuous representation. It is also unfortunately the most common representation of race in Pakistan. This video is not going to go into the history of the Shidi community. It is a very varied and complex history. I am going to have some links in the description. There definitely needs to be a lot more research conducted, but I have found some really prominent um, verifiable links. There's actually a documentary that a local television channel did it's in Urdu, so if you don't speak in Urdu, <laughs> that's not going to really help you. But I am also going to mention some articles that have been written by some pretty respected journalists in Pakistan. But this video, this is more so just a rant because it's very frustrating to grow up in Pakistan and not acknowledge the black heroes that we've experienced throughout our history. A lot of South Asians are concerned about what is happening to black Americans. And I want that concern to extend to anti-black racism in general so that we can finally have an honest conversation about black South Asians and black Pakistanis. I don't know how many of you have heard the name Hosh Mohammad Shidi. He was a general in the Talpur army and in 1843, he lost his life facing off against the forces of Charles Napier. Before he died, he uttered the words, Marvesu par Sindhna Desu, which you might have heard as a political slogan adopted by some political parties in Sindh. This took place in what is known as the Battle of Hyderabad, and this happened in 1843. Those of you that have studied South Asian history, you know that the Rani of Jhansi and other political figures that took part in the Great Indian Revolt, that didn't come about until 1857. So this predated the Great Indian Revolt, as it is called, by 14 years. I don't know if the gravity of that hits you, but it hits me many times that the face of anti-colonial rule in South Asia was black. It was a black man. He was one of the pioneers of the concept of self-rule. But also, as you know, that sin was not annexed into the British Empire until much later, until 1843, in fact. But the fact that he was really a front runner of this movement of people who continue to exert their own rule over a state or a certain portion of South Asia 
it's a remarkable story and it's just so frustrating that more people don't know about it in fact when i was in pakistan and i was studying i must have been around 17 years old i remember actually reading about this particular battle i remember reading the name charles napier in a history book that was approved for students studying pakistan history as it as it was called but the name of hosh mohammad shidi was not mentioned in that book we actually know of the british colonial forces we know much more about them than we do about our own historical figures heroes really there have been so many milestones that the shidi community in pakistan have achieved but they've gone unnoticed in 2008 there was a book published called empires of the indus by alice albania she speaks about many aspects of life in contemporary pakistan sindh predominantly and one of the communities that she talks about is the shidi community as i said they're pretty prominent for anybody wanting to do any kind of genuine historical research or sociological research you cannot miss the black south asian community they're pretty prominent on the ground it's just that we for some reason don't want to tell their stories in this book alice albania interviews many members of the shidi community and they have a lot of grievances and one of the grievances i remember was that they were frustrated by the lack of political representation in 2018 tanzila kamrani actually became the first shidi woman to have a role in pakistani legislature yet that was something that wasn't reported by most television channels i speak a little bit about my background i come from a media centric family as i have sat across from journalists who are experts in the region of sindh they want to pretend as if the shidi community doesn't exist they want to pretend as if the slave trade did not impact this part of south asia i do just want to mention that all members of the shidi community did not arrive to this part of the world as enslaved people but it is a very complex history and certainly the enslavement of black people did impact this part of the world as unfortunately it has impacted many other parts of the world and in pakistan just like in other parts of the world they were able to create a very vibrant community which is very proud of its roots and its heritage the shidi community are cognizant of their identity they openly refer to themselves as black they are really proud of their heritage you have contemporary Shidi figures like Noon Mim Danish who was a poet who referred to Liari which is home to many Shidis in Sindh as the Harlem of Pakistan so they are both inspired by their own heritage but they want to connect to the global black community and i just think it's so frustrating that we're going to have conversations about race in south asia and not talk about our own form of violence what is this if not erasure and what is erasure if not another form of systemic violence and systemic injustice we want to erase the fact that they have played a very important role in the creation of contemporary pakistan to look at them as this kind of interesting commodity that politicians make use of sometimes when they want to get votes pakistan has a very interesting history and unfortunately one of the things that i see happening is that we have adopted the narratives that have been selected for us in the global media landscape once upon a time we were that british colony that gained independence and then we were that place where the terrorists happened we haven't fully come to terms with our own identity and how complex and how varied it is but that needs to change we cannot talk about standing in solidarity with the black community if we don't stand in solidarity with the black community in south asia often erasure and this kind of systemic injustice translates into real world violence when you don't have shidi community representatives in politics and their values and their norms and what they want and their issues and their concerns and the struggles that they go through go unnoticed as well it's not a coincidence that a majority of the shidi community in sindh is located in liari which also happens to be the epicenter of the gang war in sindh structural forms of violence and the systemic racism persists because we want to pretend like it doesn't i'm really inspired by black americans who are having these conversations i'm learning so much from them and i hope you are as well but i also think we can learn a lot from the shidi community and i think it is a real tragedy that we still haven't woken up to this there will be links in the description i really do hope you guys take this as an opportunity to educate yourselves thank you so much for listening to that if you don't already please do subscribe to my youtube channel and follow me across all my social media the links will be in the description um if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you didn't like this video you can give it a thumbs down that's fine i do hope that you guys can share this video if you didn't like it that's fine just click on one of the links that i've provided for some of the resources that i've used try sharing some of those everything isn't going to change simply because a global pandemic has threatened the way of life that we were used to some of these things we're going to have to actively work to change i believe the first step towards that is educating ourselves 
So let's start there and hopefully we can do more. Thank you so much for watching and please take care of yourselves.